Good morning everyone and welcome to my Monday morning. It's the 1st of December today so we're into the home run towards Christmas. I'm getting a little bit excited now because I heard some Christmas jingles on Radio 1 this morning. I also woke up to find little tiny droplets of water on the inside of some of my windows. It's very very cold outside. It's getting down to about sort of two or three degrees early in the morning. So I'm just thinking Will we get some white snow for Christmas? I really hope so, because I love it when it snows. It creates some great photo opportunities as well. So I'll be getting out with my camera if the snow does come down in the UK. Now, of course, the day would not be complete without a look at some new technology and gadgets that arrived late last week. So here we go. This is the first product, and it'd be of real interest to you if you're into your photography or smartphone photography, to be precise. This is the MPOW. 3-in-1 fisheye wide angle and macro lens, two lenses supplied, one of them unscrews to reveal another lens underneath. Both of them come with little sort of uh, dust covers for the front of the lens. And this isn't specific to something like the iPhone, this will work with pretty much any smartphone. And it comes with this sort of plastic clip and the lenses clip into this uh, plastic holder and then you can position them correctly over your smartphone lens. Fairly decent quality optics. I tried them out briefly on my iPhone 6. I think the only negative point on these is that there's no precise positioning. So what I mean by that is if you buy one that's specific to your iPhone, perhaps you've got an Olo clip for your iPhone 6, then it positions the back of the lens precisely over the optics on your iPhone. With this one, because this is made to work with many different smartphones, you have to position this accurately. It's not too difficult, but it can be a little bit hit and miss, but at least it works, it's a good price. And as with all of the products I'm gonna show you today, there are links in the video description. And then next up, we have got this, a very different looking Bluetooth speaker. Look at this, this is the Jam Street wireless stereo speaker. It's drop and splash proof as well. Really nice sort of rugged looking speaker with this sort of honeycomb design. It's also got this little uh, sort of carabiner clip as well, which when it is back inside the actual speaker, it sort of just pushes in. It's quite difficult to get back out, so do bear that in mind. This is what it looks like 360, and it sort of creates a 360 degree sound. We've also got a microphone built in as well, so you can use it to make and take calls. There's a little cover on the bottom, which reveals the charging socket, which is a micro USB socket. And this will give you up to about eight hours of audio playback. We've got controls on the top here for power, track control, and of course, volume. And it sounds pretty good. If you're looking for something that's a little bit different looking, not quite as portable as some of these mini speakers, but that produces a good quality sound, then this is well worth checking out. This is the Jam Street. Next up, we have got a keyboard. Look at this keyboard. It's from Tesoro. It's their Excalibur keyboard, illuminated mechanical gaming keyboard, it says on the box there. It's got gaming grade mechanical switches on here. So it's one of these sort of clicky clacky keyboards, 512 kilobytes of onboard memory, a thousand hertz polling rate, and it's got backlighting as well. So backlit illumination on here. Really nice spacing really nice tactile feedback on each of the keys connects via usb you can also raise the angle of the keyboard up it's got some little sort of feet underneath as with most keyboards and it's just really well made i do like it a lot it's got some great features of course full-size keyboard with a numeric keypad as well if you're into your gaming and you want something that is going to look the part but also deliver some great performance without costing a lot of money. These Tesoro keyboards are well worth checking out. I've actually tested a lot of these now and they all offer fantastic value for money. Now we've got something a little bit different over here. Look at this, this is the W1 or Wallet One from August brand. And this is a little bit different again. This is like a wallet. If you open it up, you will reveal some card slots. There's also like an elasticated portion here, which could be used for storing notes, or indeed you could put your smart device in here as well. And then tucked inside this uh, sort of portion here, inside this pouch, is a USB power pack. Micro USB input for charging it, full size USB for charging your device. There's a little button you can push, which if I just locate it correctly there, 
will actually give you some LED feedback as to the battery power left inside. It comes with a charging cable and the idea with this is you can keep your cards and money in here and then if you need to charge your device you can just use your own device's cable or the included micro USB cable if your device uses micro USB and you can charge your device inside this wallet. It's also got an RFID lining in here as well so it's really a very very secure wallet. This is the Wallet One. Now I was sort of really interested in this but there's not a lot of space for actual money. Now I know a lot of people don't carry cash around with them nowadays. You can slip some cash in here and some cards. I would have just liked to have seen maybe another flap inside so you can tuck some banknotes in there as well. But alas, it's mainly for the modern day world where we're going to be using our smart devices to pay for things nowadays. Next up we've got this. Look at the colour of these. These are really very, very cool. These are from Audio Technica. These are part of their Sonic Sport range, the ATH Sport 2 in-ear earphones. Very, very striking design in the pink, sort of neon pink colour and yellow. We also get some extra silicon ear tips here, more than you get with standard earphones actually. We've got some clear and also some pink coloured ones. And I just love the colour combination on these earphones. We've got almost a right angle 3.5mm audio connector here. Little sort of crocodile clip for clipping this on your clothing. Because these are really designed for an active lifestyle. Love the little yellow accents all the way around. The actual ear tips, very, very nice. Uh, angle design, again, on the ear tips. And these go sort of part way into the ear canal to really sort of seal that noise in and to give a comfortable fit. And also to stay in place whilst you're doing your sporting activity. The actual sound quality of these is acceptable. It's not fantastic. Not the best I've heard out of a pair of Audio Technica earphones. But these aren't audiophile earphones. These are for the active lifestyle. And they produce a nice quality of vocal a nice detail as well they don't go very low so you're not going to get mega bass frequencies with these but if you're looking for something whilst you're out jogging to use these are definitely worth checking out these are the ATH Sport 2 from Audio Technica now the last product I want to show you today is this and I'm going to have to make some space on my desk for it this is the back posture stand and this is it, as if by magic, it has appeared on my desk. This is the posture stand. It's actually recommended by the London Spine Clinic. And the idea behind this is to support your laptop or your tablet or another device so that you've got it at the correct working height. Now, before we take a closer look at the posture stand, I'll also show you this. The company also sent me their posture minder. Now, unfortunately, I couldn't test this because it is Windows only, but basically it is a USB key inside there and it installs software on your computer and uses some very clever software. I think it also uses the web camera to ensure that you've got the right posture and sitting position at your desk. Now, although I couldn't test this, I would say please do check it out if you can because anything that helps you improve your posture while you're sitting working is a good thing. Now back to the back posture stand, excuse the pun, you can see my MacBook Pro on the top there and it's supported very sturdily indeed. This platform is locked into place by these bits on the side. Now there are a couple of negatives. First of all, this is quite rigid plastic touching my desk. There is no padding here either and if you put it into another format this bit will be touching your desk. So it's all hard plastic. I would have liked to have seen some rubber bumpers on the bottom of these so that it didn't mark my desk like it has here. So not too impressed with that. And also, if you look at these bits here, these are actually locking mechanisms. So I'm not gonna unlock it now because it's locked down into this particular position, but you have to open these up and then you can adjust the angles of the various platforms and legs. Now it's good that they've got locks, but 
these angles didn't match up on either side so i found i had to visually get them positioned to the correct angle so it's a little bit tricky just to get it set up in this configuration but of course you can use it in different configurations as well i can swap all of these around so it's more upright more laid back so if i'm laying down using it i can get the correct angle or if i'm sitting up perhaps sitting up on the sofa then i can adjust the angle accordingly or if i want to even use it as a at a desk stand so i can use this look if you if i come back and show you this angle if i wanted to have a standing desk where i could use this actually standing rather than sitting at my studio desk then i could have it at a really high position and create my own standing desk scenario so it's got plenty of different variations it's all perforated as well actually if i remove my laptop off of here very carefully you can see here that all of the metal on here is perforated with ventilation so that's really good there's also an additional bit that you can attach for if you're going to use a mouse it's just really good very very good indeed quite large though you know it's uh, 56 by 30 by 4 centimeters when it's in its folded size so this isn't portable really it's something you're going to use around the home or the office but it has to be that size to accommodate all different size laptops, I suppose. It actually goes uh, up to 56 centimetres high as well. So between 40 and 56 centimetres in height. I think it's a very nicely constructed. I would just like to see those little improvements with the rubber bumpers included. And also just a better way of marking these side bits. So I didn't have to visually get the angles right. But apart from that, it's a really nice product. This is the back posture stand. So it's been one of those days where I've been so, so busy, but I've got so much done as well. I also got an update on the Apple Mac Pro, which I'm really happy about. Apple are finally swapping it out for something that will work properly with the external 4K displays. So good news on that front. When it actually arrives, I will obviously share that with you as well. Now, a bit of really fantastic news to end this video on. I am awarding somebody some geek points yes i am awarding 50 geek points to darren strazek he actually shares so much of my content above and beyond any expectation i could ever have so 50 geek points goes you darren i will be in touch for your details so that i can log those geek points and create a geek point account for you so if you don't know what geek points are I will leave a link in the video description to an article on the Geek and Noise website which explains everything you need to know. So that's it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you all had a fantastic day. See you tomorrow.